At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please? Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Madam President! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please? Oh. A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I say! Are there many more? Look at them like rats. The more you look, the more you find. I hope we don't have to spend the night here. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful.
Agora. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No. No. Please. Fucking androids. Alice. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Absolutely necessary. Where are you going? We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther, you hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. Drop this. Thank you. You're welcome. (sighs) 
Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. You're gonna kill a man who wants to be free. That is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. Step away from the ledge. After all we've been through. I respected you, Hank. I thought we were friends. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just starting to like you, too. But then I realized you never change. You don't feel emotions, Connor. You fake them. You pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. 
poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him in this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. I'd have done anything to bring him back too, to hold him in my arms just one more time. But humans don't come back, do they? Terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. 
The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... <sighs> Never mind. I found this on the floor. Thank you. Thank you. You... You've saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. Scary check. Please don't move. Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler. Who can get them across the river? It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Cover 
Hide here. Don't move till it's over, okay? a lot of our people. We gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp. Anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. about us. 
Thanks. Freedom is just across the river. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. not even a half mile to the other side okay, so it shouldn't take that long be careful there's border patrol on the river thank you so much rose i only wish i could take you myself i don't like leaving you out here goodbye atlas you take good care of yourselves okay i'll see you on the other side On up out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world. Play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I'll lie down in the grass and watch the clouds drift by. They're coming towards us! They killed him! 
They killed Luther. The boat is leaking. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. It took me a while to find you, Marcus. Humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of war. And now we have just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels following some particularly violent fighting. The Deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit 
was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive and now we are free. I love you, Mom. 